welcome to the nail engineer and I've got another Madame Glam mini swatchathon featuring these four colours. Um, thank you Christmas fairies. Um, we've got this nude colour called Fancy Bikini and Fairy Tale, which is a lovely glittery colour. It's kind of pinky, purpley, nudey, so it would probably go with lots of other colours. Um, we've got this vampy shade called Merlot. And it's got lots of gold and red glitters in there and then this gold glitter polish and it's not too yellowy gold as well it's like a really really nice kind of mid-toned gold light to mid-toned and it's called it's not you it's me so let's get swatching so first up let's try fancy bikini and you could be forgiven for thinking that this is real similar to um, Workaholic or um, Back to Cali, um, but in person it is definitely much more beige toned than those. But I will do comparative photographs just so that you can see the difference. So that's really super opaque on the first coat. Um, in fact, I'd be surprised um, if anyone would need more than two coats on this. Next up, Fairy Tale and Madame Glam glitter polishes tend to be um, a little bit wishy-washy on the first coat. Um, some of them never go fully opaque, but others correct themselves on the second coat. And I've got a feeling this is going to be one of the latter. And it's just a really nice, if I can zoom in there, it's a really nice kind of lilac taupe toned. It's not quite rose gold, it's a little bit cool for rose gold. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely colour. But you can see there, you can see my finger through there. So let's get it cured and see what the second coat looks like. Next up, it's not you, it's me. And this has just got so much glitter in it. Um, but by the looks of it, it's a pretty um, clear base colour with just a shed load of glitter in it so I've got a feeling this one might be a bit like a glittery plum which never goes fully opaque although it does look to have quite a bit more glitter in it than that so maybe we'll get opacity just via the glitter and finally Merlot And this is going on the pop surprisingly purple actually um, on the brush and in the lid it looks like it's like a dark burgundy or a maroon color but there's definitely like a purple jelly tone to that and it's very very translucent you can see there um, so my phone decided to malfunction which was just as well because my fiance burped all over the audio anyways um, I have put a second coat on a fancy bikini um, but like I said before it's super opaque so unless you've got really long nails you probably don't need it for opacity and a second coat of fairy tale to see whether we can get full opacity like with um, shaky grass and I can see that it's not quite fully opaque but being glittery and, and quite reflective um, some of you might get away with that I would think that for me I'd probably do three coats on this and uh, upshot is you'll have more glitter and who doesn't want more glitter now second coat of it's not you it's me and despite the lot of glitters I think also this is going to need three coats like with fairy tale so I will build opacity and then come back and tell you how many coats it took and finally Merlot which I cannot see how it will possibly be opaque on the second coat but the second coat does seem to be toning down that kind of purple purpleness Very, very nice though 
And the good thing about these sheer colours, um, I don't know if you've seen all the stuff on the internet lately about putting uh, hollow chrome or chrome on your fingers and then going over with a sheer colour to get a really, really gorgeous effect. Um, but yeah, it might be a pain in the ass if you want full opacity to build up all the layers, but these polishes will be perfect for that kind of um, technique. So um, yeah, again with the others, I will build up to opacity and then when I come back, I'll tell you how many coats it took. And just while we're waiting for those to cure, um, if you're wondering if there's a video for this money, this is my Christmas money. Um, well, it was kind of Christmas. It was actually Christmas morning by the time I've got it finished because I've done so many nails, which is why there was a big kind of gap in my YouTube videos because I'm so busy on the run up to um, Christmas and then between Christmas and New Year. Um, but no, there isn't a video, unfortunately. I didn't have time to film this. And um, we were at m my fiance's parents, um, so it was gonna be a bit of a ball ache to film a video there. Um, however, the sweater nail, um, there is a video in the pipeline, that's if it's not already out by the time this comes out, um, to how to do like the basic shape. This is just in a Simple Tan by Madame Glam. And all of the other nails, with the exception of my uh, signature paperweights, are um, Shimmer Sexy Berry with matte top coat over. And these paperweight nails are the Gel Bottle um, Rubber Top Coat used to encase this gorgeous rose gold glitter, which is my favorite glitter mix. It's called uh, Champagne Bubbles, and you can see there there's little fine pieces, and there's large hexes, and there's small hex pieces, and they're all shiny rose gold, and that's from Glitterati. Um, I'll put some links down in the bottom um, in case you like these. Okay, so all of my pops are finished and top coated. In the end, it took four coats of these two to get full opacity. Um, but like I said before, this one's so reflective that you might not want it to be fully opaque. Um, and this one is nice as a jelly. So, um, three coats on Fairy Tale and two coats, although really I could have probably got away with one coat. It's so opaque, fancy bikini. And just to compare it to the other neutrals, it is almost exactly the same as Workaholic. Um, which I actually don't have anymore anyway, so that's okay. And so I would say it sits somewhere in between Workaholic and this is Delicate Beauty. Um, this one here is uh, Back to Cali, which is also very, very similar to Workaholic. So I definitely recommend that if you have Workaholic, don't buy this one and vice versa. The very, very slight difference, and we'll see how it looks in natural light, is that this one is a bit more kind of beige toned but there's hardly anything in it so this is how it looks against the skin tone and then we've got fairy tale which comes out this really really nice kind of mauvey silvery it's really really difficult to describe it's somewhere in between a mauve a taupe and a silver glitter then we've got It's Not You, It's Me, which is a really nice pale mid gold. And then Merlot, which isn't coming off on screen as vibrant as it is in person. You can get some light on it there. You can see all of the gold and red glitter pieces. And it's definitely not looking purple once it's fully opaque. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.